What if everything you thought about Serbian origins only told half the story? For years, school books and popular narratives have focused on the Slavic migrations of the 6th and 7th centuries as a defining moment in Serbian history. But modern science is pulling back the curtain on something much older and far more complex. Thanks to breakthroughs in ancient DNA analysis, scientists have begun mapping the genetic roots of populations across Europe, and what they've uncovered about the Serbian people is both surprising and deeply fascinating. It turns out that the Serbian genome doesn't begin with the Slavs. Deep beneath the surface lies a rich blend of ancient Balkan DNA, from Neolithic farmers to Illyrian tribes, and even remnants of Indo-European steppe herders. This cocktail of ancestry has been building for tens of thousands of years, long before the word Serb even existed. But that's only part of the story. Once the Slavic tribes arrived, they didn't erase the people who lived in the Balkans. They merged with them. Today's Serbs carry both the ancient genetic layers of the region and a strong Slavic signature. The result is a truly unique identity, both biologically and culturally. And here's the twist. Recent studies show subtle traces of influence from Central Asia, the Near East, and even Northern Europe, thanks to later periods of conquest, trade, and empire. So, how do you define a people whose roots are both deeply local and widely connected? In this video, we'll break down what genetic research really says about Serbian origins, debunk some common myths, and explore what it all means for Serbian identity today. Get ready to see history through the lens of DNA. Long before the Slavs ever arrived in the Balkans, the region was home to some of Europe's most ancient civilizations, and the DNA of these early people still lives on in modern Serbs. Archaeological evidence shows that humans have inhabited the Balkans continuously for over 40,000 years. The first significant genetic layer came with Paleolithic and Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, followed by a major wave of Neolithic farmers from Anatolia around 9,000 years ago. These early agriculturalists spread to the Balkans, bringing new crops, technologies, and DNA. In fact, recent genetic studies show that Serbs today carry a significant percentage of their ancestry from these early farmers, especially maternal mitochondrial lineages. Then came the Indo-European migrations during the Bronze Age, most notably the Yamnea people from the Ponic Caspian Steppe. These nomadic herders brought not just new technology and social structures, but also the Indo-European language roots that would eventually shape Slavic and other European tongues. Their genetic markers, especially Y-DNA haplogroup R1A, remain present in Serbs today and signal a shared ancestry with other Eastern European peoples. Between 2000 BCE and the Roman era, the Balkans were home to complex tribal societies like the Illyrians, Thracians, and Dacians, each with their own unique cultures. While their languages have largely been lost to history, their genetic legacy persists. Some researchers suggest that many modern Balkan populations, including Serbs, still carry a meaningful amount of this pre-Slavic Balkan DNA, especially in areas like mitochondrial and autosomal markers. These ancient roots are important because they challenge the idea that the Serbian population simply started with the arrival of the Slavs. Instead, the Slavs encountered and merged with existing Balkan populations, people whose ancestry stretched back thousands of years. The resulting genetic mix laid the foundation for what will become the modern Serbian identity. In short, Serbian DNA is not just Slavic, it's deeply Balkan. The Slavic migrations of the 6th and 7th century CE were one of the most defining moments in the history of the Balkans and a major turning point in the genetic story of the Serbian people. Driven by a combination of population pressure, climate shifts, and the weakening of the Eastern Roman Byzantine Empire, Slavic tribes began expanding southward from their homeland near the Pripet Marshes in what is now Ukraine and Belarus. They didn't arrive as conquerors in the traditional sense, but as settlers, often moving into depopulated or sparsely defended regions of the Balkans. When these Slavic groups entered the Balkan Peninsula, they encountered existing local populations, Illyrians, Thracians, Romanized provincials, and remnants of earlier cultures. Rather than displacing them entirely, the Slavs intermarried and assimilated many of these communities. This is reflected in the genetics. Modern Serbs show a strong Slavic component, especially in paternal Y-DNA markers like R1A, but also retain significant genetic continuity with pre-Slavic Balkan populations through maternal and autosomal DNA. 
Linguistically and culturally, the Slavs brought with them a new identity. Over time, Slavic languages replaced older local tongues, and new forms of village-based, agrarian life became the norm. The Orthodox Christian faith, introduced later via Byzantine influence, further unified the early Serbian tribes under a shared spiritual and national banner. Genetically, the arrival of the Slavs added a large layer of Eastern European ancestry, aligning modern Serbs closely with other South Slavic peoples, such as Croats, Bosniaks, Montenegrins, and Bulgarians. Yet the admixture with local Balkan populations made the Serbian genome distinct, uniquely shaped by geography, isolation, and history. So while the Slavic migrations were critical in forming the cultural identity of the Serbian people, DNA shows they were only one part of a much longer and richer ancestral story. To understand what makes Serbian ancestry unique, we need to look at how two major forces, ancient Balkan inhabitants and incoming Slavic settlers, came together to shape the Serbian genome. On one side, there were the ancient peoples who lived in the Balkan for tens of thousands of years, Paleolithic hunter-gatherers, Neolithic farmers from Anatolia, Bronze Age step migrants, and Iron Age tribes like the Illyrians and Thracians. Their genetic legacy is still deeply embedded in the DNA of people living in the region today. In fact, studies show that much of the autosomal DNA, which makes up most of our genome and comes from both parents, in modern Serbs links back to these ancient populations, proof of long standing continuity in the region. On the other side, there were the Slavs. Their arrival in the 6th and 7th centuries CE introduced a strong Eastern European genetic signature, most notably seen in wide in a haplogroup, R1a, commonly found in Slavic male lineages. But the Slavs didn't simply replace the local population. Instead, they merged with them. Over time, this fusion gave rise to a people who were culturally Slavic, but genetically diverse, blending deep Balkan roots with more recent Eastern European influences. Interestingly, mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down from mothers, shows an even stronger connection to the ancient Balkan populations. This suggests that while Slavic males may have formed the leading edge of migration, they integrated into existing communities with local women, reinforcing the genetic ties to the land. What emerges is a complex but beautifully layered ancestry. Modern Serbs are not just the descendants of Slavic tribes or Balkan natives. They are the product of thousands of years of mixing, movement, and cultural fusion. In short, the foundation of Serbian identity is both ancient and Slavic, a blend that connects them to both their local landscape and the wider Slavic world. No discussion of Serbian genetic history would be complete without addressing the centuries-long influence of the Ottoman Empire. From the 14th to the 19th century, the Balkans were under Ottoman rule, and this period left both cultural and genetic imprints on the region. The Ottomans brought soldiers, administrators, traders, and settlers from across their vast empire, which stretched from North Africa and the Middle East to Central Asia. While large-scale population replacement did not occur, intermarriage, migration, and assimilation over generations did introduce new genetic elements into the Serbian gene pool. Modern genetic studies suggest a small but detectable Middle Eastern and Central Asian component in some Balkan populations, including Serbs. These traces likely reflect the long Ottoman presence, as well as earlier influences from trade and the movement of peoples across the Silk Road. For example, haplogroups J and E, commonly associated with Middle Eastern and Mediterranean populations, appear at low but consistent frequencies in the Serbian population. It's also important to note that not all foreign genetic input came through conquest. The Balkans have always been a crossroad to Europe and Asia, exposed to Roman, Byzantine, Hungarian, Germanic, and even Venetian interactions over the centuries. Each wave left subtle marks, cultural, linguistic, and genetic. Overall, while the core of Serbian genetic identity is rooted in ancient Balkan and Slavic ancestry, these later influences add complexity and richness to the story. They remind us that the Serbian genome, like its history, has always been shaped by both resistance and connection. While the Serbian people share a common cultural and linguistic identity, modern genetic research reveals that there is notable variation within Serbia itself. Geography, historical migration patterns, and centuries of foreign rule have all contributed to subtle genetic differences across regions. 
in eastern and central Serbia, the genetic makeup reflects a strong Slavic influence, particularly through paternal lineages like haplogroup R1a, which is commonly associated with Eastern European ancestry. These regions also show consistent markers linked to ancient Balkan populations, highlighting deep local continuity. Western Serbia and the Sumadija region tend to show slightly more Western Balkan genetic signatures, overlapping with populations in Bosnia and Montenegro. This may reflect historical tribal movements and intermarriage across porous regional borders. Meanwhile, southern Serbia, including areas like Niš and Pasivo Valley, shows a more complex blend of influences. Due to proximity to Macedonia and Kosovo, populations here may carry a slightly higher degree of Mediterranean and even Albanian-related markers, including haplogroups E and J. These traces point to historical interactions across the southern Balkans and a legacy of Ottoman-era population movements. In Vojvodina, the northern province of Serbia, the genetic picture includes a mix of Slavic, Hungarian, Germanic, and even Romanian influences, reflecting the region's Austro-Hungarian past and its historically multi-ethnic population. These regional differences are relatively subtle, but they highlight Serbia's position as a historical crossroads. While Serbs share a strong national identity, their genetic roots reflect a complex mosaic shaped by both unity and diversity. Modern DNA research has shed new light on the Serbian genome, revealing some unexpected connections and patterns that challenge old assumptions about identity and origins. One of the most surprising discoveries is the high degree of genetic continuity in the Balkans. Despite centuries of migration, conquest, and empire, Many Serbs still carry genetic markers that trace back to the region's earliest inhabitants, Paleolithic hunter-gatherers and Neolithic farmers who lived there thousands of years ago. This suggests that the population has been surprisingly stable, even through turbulent historical periods. At the same time, modern testing has revealed traces of distant connections, including small percentages of Central Asian, Middle Eastern, and Mediterranean ancestry. These likely entered the gene pool during the Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman periods, when Serbia was part of vast multicultural empires. Another notable finding, the high diversity of Y-DNA haplogroups among Serbian men. While haplogroups like R1A and I2 dominate, there are also smaller but consistent appearances of E1B1B, J2, and even rare G and T lineages. This indicates a complex history of migration and mixing, especially along key river valleys and trade routes. Ultimately, these modern discoveries paint a picture of a population that is both deeply rooted and broadly connected, reflecting the layers of history, resilience, and adaptation that define the Serbian people. Understanding the complex genetic heritage of the Serbian people offers profound insights into what it means to be Serbian today. Far from being a simple or uniform identity, Serbian ancestry reflects centuries of blending, survival, and cultural resilience. The genetic layers found in modern Serbs tell a story of deep roots in the Balkans, alongside waves of migration and foreign influence. This rich tapestry mirrors Serbia's history as a crossroads of civilizations, from ancient settlers and Slavic arrivals to Byzantine and Ottoman empires. Rather than diluting identity, these influences have enriched Serbian culture, language, and traditions creating a unique and multifaceted national character. Today, many Serbs take pride in this diversity. It reminds them that their identity is not static, but shaped by a long journey through history. It's a testament to endurance amid invasions, wars, and political upheaval. This genetic heritage also highlights the connections Serbs share with neighboring peoples, fostering a sense of regional belonging while preserving a distinct Serbian spirit. In modern Serbia and among the Serbian diaspora worldwide, this understanding encourages openness and dialogue, appreciating shared histories and celebrating differences. It also invites reflection on how identity goes beyond genetics. It is built through culture, language, faith, and shared experiences. Ultimately, the genetic findings reaffirm that being Serbian means embracing both continuity and change, holding on to ancestral legacies while evolving in a globalized world. It's a dynamic identity grounded in history, but always looking forward, united by a deep love for the land, people, and culture that defines Serbia today.